What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick video to show the advantages of having a mini split system versus maybe installing a new furnace and air conditioning. Um, a lot of homes, especially in Utah, have a swamp cooler and a furnace. And so in order to convert to AC, you have to run power. Um, a lot of times you have to do some additional duct work. And that's something that a lot of folks just simply don't wanna mess with. That's one huge advantage to having a mini split is there's no duct work. These are a ductless system. Now they do have options where you can have duct work, like a uh, concealed mini split where it goes in the ceiling and you run duct work to it. They also sell a mini split that is completely ducted so you can attach it with your existing duct work. We've done this in the past with a Cooper and Hunter system. But this one that I'm gonna show you today is completely ductless. They just mount to the walls. And as you can see, they just have these covers over the line set on the exterior and makes it really nice and has a finished look to it. In addition to that, these systems are extremely efficient. They are extremely quiet as well. And so that's a huge factor, especially with rentals. You don't want a noisy unit, especially if it's in a space that you're gonna be entertaining outdoors. Uh, we're at this Airbnb here and this unit is extremely quiet. You can't tell when the units kick on. Unlike a lot of homes, you can tell when the furnace kicks on, you can hear all that air noise. These are extremely quiet and very comfortable. So we'll show you what the finished product looks like on the outside, as well as the indoor units and how those work. So as you can see on the back side of the home, there is no uh, line sets or anything. So you can't even tell that the system is here. And even on this side, because of this nice cover, uh, we basically have two runs here. So it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. They could have even paint matched these if they wanted to, but everything is weather tight and uh, looks really nice. They did a really nice job whoever installed this. So the unit is up on pads. So if this is um, ever has snow on the ground, this is not gonna be touching the unit. As you can hear, this unit is extremely quiet. Um, this is a three head system. It is a uh, 24,000 BTU, so a two ton system. And all of the communication wires are running conduit, which is really nice. And everything is sealed up here uh, to make sure that no rodents or anything gets inside of these. Nice little disconnect here. And of course, this unit does not take up much space at all. It can be pushed against the wall pretty tight. And it takes up a lot less space than a conventional split system that would have been here. Now, as far as getting the refrigerant lines into the home, as you can see, this one goes straight through this wall. And our head unit is right here behind this wall. Whereas this one goes up into the ceiling. Now over here on the other end of the home, as you can see that line set came in through the attic, comes down and it goes into the wall right here. Uh, you can see that little opening, but they ran this all the way down so that we could have our PVC drain. And during the summer months, water will condensate out of this guy. So again, a nice finished look. Um, it honestly just looks like a gutter. Um, I didn't even realize that this was part of the line set until I looked at it closer. Now, in case you're wondering on these line sets, they are a very small diameter, so they're really easy to maneuver and to bend straight and to get uh, covered, as you can see. So this is head unit number one. This is our on the far end of the home where the line set came in through the ceiling. It must have gone into this wall, so there's nothing around this, which is really nice. Again, very quiet. Um, this one is just barely running at a low speed. Um, we simply have these filter things here that you can pop out and clean. But again, uh, very comfortable. You can't tell when these units are running versus when they're not. And uh, as you can see, they don't take up a ton of space either. Now, the interesting part about this is that this part of the home does not have any sort of head unit. The only ones that we have is in that little office area. And then over here in the living room, we have the second unit on the other end of the home. There's nothing in here, but this space stays really well conditioned. Um, it stays the same exact temperature because this door and this opening are always open here. Now, if we check out this unit over here, um, this one does have a cover that goes over here. Um, but again, that's not something that is super unsightly. I didn't even notice it until I looked at it closer. So the other interesting thing is that over here, there's two bedrooms. None of these have a head unit, nor does the bathroom. 
But this room over here does have a unit and this is the other one that goes straight out to the exterior. So there's nothing around it, a uh, really nice setup. But having these three heads, even though those other rooms don't have their own head, it's really well conditioned. We've been here for two weeks and uh, these have done an excellent job. It's gotten uh, below freezing overnight and these have kept the, the home at about 68 to 70 degrees, zero problems, extremely comfortable. And we'll show you the front here where this uh, unit comes out at. Again, I just thought this looked kind of like a gutter and I didn't even notice until I looked closer. So this one must come down here, go underneath the home and our units right on the other side of this fence here. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with how a ductless mini split works, basically we have our compressor and our fan, just like a regular system here. And then on the other side where we have our head unit, the head unit is powered by the unit out here. So we have 220 power. In some cases you can get a 110 volt system. So all of the power to this whole system is brought in right here at the box. And then the condenser disperses all of that power. So it sends power to this unit, to the unit on the other side and to this unit right here. And then for each of these units, you have two refrigerant lines one that is pushing refrigerant into the unit, into the coil, and the other is pulling refrigerant back out. And that allows you to have a cool coil during the summer months and a hot coil during the winter months. Now the indoor unit does not require much power, just 110 volts, that's what powers the blower wheel. And then um, the rest is just circulating refrigerant through this coil to get hot or cold air. And then of course, to control these, you have a simple remote. Um, you can simply um, adjust the fan speed here, adjust the temperature up or down, and it gives you an audible uh, sound. As you can see, it's got a nice backlit display, so you can adjust what temperature you want. A lot of different sensors here. You can schedule these to have them on a certain timer and uh, really versatile and easy to use. Well guys, that's my two cents on a mini split system. As you can see, this system is uh, very neat, very functional, and doesn't take up a whole ton of space. So if you have like a finished basement or a rental where you're looking to clear out a bunch of space, remove the furnace, remove the air conditioner coil, this is an awesome setup. And it also allows you to have two conditioned spaces. So you could have a mini split system downstairs or on part of the home and have a completely different system on the other side of the home. So there's a ton of variations you can have with mini splits. You can get these in single heads, two heads, up to like six heads, which makes it very versatile. And as you could see in our video, um, you don't have to have one of these in every single room. As long as you have it relatively close, it's gonna condition that whole space as long as you have a door open that will allow air to circulate through that room. Well, I hope you found this video informative. If you'd like to actually see an installation video of the Daikin Dual Zone Mini Split, you can find that right here, and I'm sure you'll find it informative. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later. What do you think, Ralph? Like this place? Yeah. Oh, he's a good boy.